Michael O'Leary is the very outspoken CEO of Ryanair and uh, recently he's been very very loud about how seat belts are worthless on planes. He wants to get rid of seat belts, but well, why? No, but when I first heard that story I thought thanks God. Really? <laughs> okay, finally somebody's saying the obvious. Because every time I buckled my belt on a seat, uh, I'm sorry, buckled my seat belt on an airplane, I've always thought, like, yeah, that'll do the trick. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it doesn't even have the shoulder strap. It's like the tiniest little seat belt. Like if we're in an airplane crash, I'm covered. <laughs> like, uh, right. who cares? Now, of course, the real reason for the seat belts uh, is not in an airplane crash. Good luck to you in an airplane crash. Although in some limited cases it might help if it's not that bad, etc. But it's for the turbulence. Yeah, it's for the turbulence, uh, but he wants to just completely deny that that's even relevant in this situation. And look, he, he has an alternative agenda, right? Yeah, I yeah. love this. He wants to make a section of his planes standing room only. Awesome. Because we're not packed enough on planes. So, and so he can't have standing room only if you need a seatbelt. So all of a sudden he's like, seat belts? Come on, are you with me? Who needs seat belts? I, I, I love, first of all, he claims, he claims that if this were to happen, he would charge a dollar sixty for some flights. Oh, get right, out of right, here. which now, is ridiculous. So, look, so look. he wants to get people to be supportive about this, like, oh yeah, yeah well, dollar sixty, let's, yeah, screw the seatbelts. So now, d don't get me wrong, there are upsides to this, right? So you will definitely pay less for some flights if you're standing on the flight, and not every flight is five, six hours. Sometimes it's an hour flight, and you think standing for an hour. If I, if I have to pay a hundred bucks instead of three hundred bucks, I might sign on for that, mm -hmm. right? Now then, imagine you got to go to the bathroom and you got to get past all this guy standing in the aisle. I mean, it's a disaster. I'm sure they'll have a special area, mm -hmm. yada yada. Mm -hmm. But it, it could be a possible disaster. But then he makes a decent point. Hey, listen, we stand on buses, and there's no seatbelts on buses. You get in a crash in a bus, you're going to go flying, right? Mm -hmm. Not a bad point. And they do make you buckle the seatbelt as you're taking off and as you're landing, which again is comical, right? You have an issue there, your seatbelt ain't going to help you at all. So I know what his motivation is. Some of his points are valid. But I, I, in the end, I would vote against him because turbulence ain't nothing to mess with. No, it's not. In fact, I want to give you some stats because I think that's important. Um, he says, uh, or the stats indicate 58 people were injured by turbulence uh, each year. Uh, and between 1980 to 2008, uh, there were 234 turbulence accidents. That's where people got injured. Uh, 298 serious injuries and three fatalities. Okay, now those are not huge numbers. But it's significant. Right, and in car accidents are a million times more, right? So we understand all that. But so I've heard, and I don't know if it's true, but I've heard that Don King got his ass knocked out by uh, uh, turbulence. Uh -huh. So they're going through the turbulent weather and he's like, ah, only in America. No, I don't need a seatbelt. Okay, and then the whole plane shakes and he gets thrown up in the air and, his, and even his hair doesn't help cushion the fall. And boom, he hits his head on the thing and gets knocked the fuck out and had some serious medical problems. Again, I don't have an article or a source in front of me for that, but that's what I've heard. Ever since I heard that, whenever the the pilot says, oh, we're going to encounter some turbulence. I'm like, hold up, no, no, <laughs> buckle in, okay. <laughs> so now if you're all standing and you encounter that kind of turbulence, yes, shit the lot at the same time. Now, on the other hand, if somebody had video of that, that would be hilarious. Yeah. Okay, which way do you vote in that? No, I'm against standing room only. It's going to set a stupid standard and all of a sudden, you know, we're going to be, and, and you know that they're going to inflate the prices. It's, it's yeah, going to get more. Yeah, it's not going to be $1.60. Yeah, it's it's going to be. And not going to be $1.60. All of a sudden, you're going to be paying like first class prices just to get a seat on a, on a plane. No. Yeah, totally. Totally, totally, yeah. totally right.